What's up guys, Sean B here and today I have a special video for y'all. This guy right here, his name is Nana, let's call him that way, he wants me to call him that way. <laughs> he watched my video in which I interview a guy who progressed super fast in the early game, so as a G3 player, he decided he wanted to restart the game fresh, totally free to play to see how fast he can progress and see if he can beat the other guy in the video. And to my surprise, he did. This is crazy progression. And he's here with me today to talk to you guys about how he did it because I know a lot of people who watch me are new players. And also a lot of people can use these tips for their daily grind as well. Hey, Nana. Hey, how's it going, Sean? So can you tell us why you want to do this? And yeah, just some info about yourself, about your G3 life in the past, how long have you played the game, all that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, well, I was, yeah, no, I've been playing this game for well over four years now. Um, I was a pay to play, so I have invested quite a bit of money. I know my way around the game. Um, plain and simple, I, I love the community. I love hanging out. I love helping people grow so that's kind of my main focus for this account i kind of just restarted and i want to show people how to progress you know what to ruin how to ruin things that's basically it i see first off i know there are many people in the youtube comment right now be spamming hey this guy's a pay to win player i don't trust this i don't care okay you you keep that shit to yourself <laughs> people out here trying to help others progress faster if you don't believe me, Starter Pack is still here. And whoever spent money in this game and has a bit of brain will never, and I say never buy Crystal here. They will always buy it from the Daily Packs, the Starter Pack, because it's much more valuable. And none of these, and I say none of these, is bought. It's crazy. So one thing I want to ask him the most is how did he six star so many things so fast he has in total 11 six star and he has been playing for a week that is no me <laughs> 10 weeks and that is one six star per week on average but he told me that he made 10 six star in the first 30 days right yeah how did you do it like what is the strategy to six starring so fast this is crazy to me <laughs> so my main thought process behind this is that a six star monster has way more base stats than a five star even if you have a little bit better runes so my main number one goal was rush that lapis so like I, I tell it to everyone when you get your vamp lord this was during the event take those runes off throw them on lapis get her to five star six star her first and then just grind non-stop until you know i basically you'll see all my achievements are done you get so many rewards now comp to us has really helped the like the new players catch up so like i've just non-stop beat the rewards got everything and i just kept grinding fame on until i basically six starred about 10 monsters eight nine ten monsters oh shit your lapis can't do five on hell uh, she can. Uh, she may fail from time to time. I did take some of her runes off of her and give her to some of my other monsters. I don't do fame on as much now because I'm in dungeons. But for the first 30 days, you were spending most of the time in Feynman leveling up units, right? Oh, yeah. Were there anything oh, yes. in the game that helps a lot with 6 star because you need double EXP, you need energy, you need fodders, unknown scroll? Was it events that help you so, a lot or what was the thing again, that... another really amazing tool comp to us gives is that when you start over and i didn't have this one when i first started um it's like i forget what they call it someone something blessing and it gives you 15 days of free rune removal double xp it gives you login energy and mana like it's just it, they're basically spoon feeding and like so that's why for the first 15 days i non-stop just leveled food wow really double x for for every yeah. new player that i think so i <laughs> i was surprised when i saw it I was like, oh, wow this is cool. that's crazy so non-stop leveling fathers and Feynman. yeah 
I see. Um, I think one of the tips I received was that you should always use your reps every single day, even if you don't have double XP. Do you do that? Oh no. Nah? Um, not typically. See, like when I started out, I didn't need it because I had double XP nonstop. But like nowadays, I won't use my reps necessarily because I'm not leveling food. Like. I'll just build what I need, and I've built my my main core dungeon teams, my TOA team, and it all works. So what what's the point of wasting my energy leveling them now if I don't need it, I right? See. I'll just rather pop a double XP and make a day of it, and just farm for twelve hours straight, and you know. True, true, and also every time you six star something, especially for the first time, you get a lot of good stuff, right? Yeah. So I think that's exactly. a lot more resources as well. So at the start of the game, the game really spoon feed you with so much resources for you to progress super fast. Exactly. And all the events comp to us brings out it, there's there's like two or three overlapping events right now, like and it's just constant like great. I see. So it's really no secret sauce, just simply game giving you resources and you trying to utilize them the in the most efficient way possible. Exactly. I see. So that's leveling, but that's still super fast though. Like <laughs> I'm still mind blown by how fast you can six star thing in like 10, six star in 30 days. That's insane. Maybe I should restart the game for and play for like a month to see, to test what you say, if it's true or not. <laughs> that's crazy. So that is leveling up. Okay. How about what you should focus on as an early game player after that honeymoon phase that you have WXP every day? <laughs> what do you start doing? So, so yeah, I, I was doing that for the first little while. And then uh, I think by about day 14, I hit level 50. So that wasn't too hard. I think the quickest way to level up is through scenario. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, yeah, I basically six started the monsters I knew I was going to be using for giants, for dragons, for 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 TOA. That's my top three I'm gonna work into. Mm -hmm. And then So I basically built the units I knew were gonna be most versatile everywhere, right? So that's my Fran is my number one unit. I'm gonna use her everywhere. I know she's useful everywhere. That's why I rushed her, I did the events, I got her, and then Lapis is still very useful. Her kit is really well-rounded, it's got attack bar reduction, it's got defense break, her skill 3 and her skill 1 have attack bar reduction, like, she's just all around good. I see. I think um, a few questions might pop up is, how do you get your Fran so fast, and how do you get your Aja so fast? <laughs> My agent is not too fast right now. He's on an attack crit damage. No, I said, how do you so... get them first? <laughs> In the first place, oh. you know? Like, oh, where, where oh, did these Ager. come from? I got Ager. Ager was a lucky draw. I got him from my guild scroll pieces. So, mm -hmm. again, number one, you want to join a guild. There's just so much you get from it. The, the, the day one I joined, I make sure to join a guild because you get the four-star max rainbow mons every week. Mm -hmm. You'll get potential guild pieces from the shop. You know, it's just, there's just certain things you know you need to do, right? And again, arena, I farm it religiously. I've, I've just been so used to it. I always use my wings nonstop. Mm -hmm. So you get your Aja from guild shop and you use guild pieces as well to get as many Aja as possible for skill up. Yes, I, to a degree. Uh, right now, I'm not too super concerned about skill ups. Like, I feel that might be more of a waste adventure. Like, if you're trying to fuse things to get skill ups, it's using up so much of your resources for a little tiny skill up. Like, I understand late game, everyone's all about those skill ups, and, you know, you, they're fusing, like, 15 JoJo's just to skill up their Lucians and stuff, and it costs so many crystals to the point where I haven't fused anything on this account. And ideally, I would have fused a, a Sigmaris if I didn't have Lynn, but I pulled mm -hmm. her lucky early. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> and <laughs> yeah well, yeah no i just I, that's just my thought process on oh i see so i think the lin was one lucky factor that you got 
so that you didn't really need the Sigmarus like everybody, everybody else for the big damage on the dungeon boss. But honestly, you can feel Sigmarus and you can achieve the same result that he's pulling off right now. Everything on the table is free to play. Bird can be fused, Lauren can be farmed, Friend can be bought in a shop via some events. I think he took two events to get Fran. Yeah. Just ancient coins, man. They give you every event, they're going to give you ancient coins. And everybody should get a Fran and six star Fran because immunity, attack break, attack buff healing is crucial. And dragons, giants, and TOA is insane. In all these units here, would you replace them with anything else? Or these is like your, you know, utmost recommended unit for newbies? Um, for the most part, I've been adjusting it. So like Fran, I just put in my GB10 team and I love her. She's got the strip, the pushback. She's made it like 10 times more stable. Before that, I had Bella on there. Also great. 2A is a great resource to have right now. The second awakening, there's so many great monsters that just really help new players. I think mm -hmm. that's really something you can take advantage of. But I'm just, I'm slowly adding and changing my team around. It's just, you know, you play it by ear. I see. I think looking at this team right now, I can't bring myself to recommend the old school team anymore, man. Like the the Verd, Bella, Megan, Sigma, Veramos, because those will take a while, especially fusing two Nat Five. These you can get immediately. You can replace Lin with Lapis, and I think it's gonna be a little bit slower because Lin can do some crazy damage. We all know, but yeah, it's definitely doable with all these free to play unit that will not take a huge amount of time to get. Even Asia can be bought from Guild Shop, you know, that's not hard. It's gonna take you like a couple weeks, but it's still sitting there and waiting, not even playing like farming a Sigmaris, it's gonna take forever. And I think um, another major thing that you achieve that everybody should aim to achieve as soon as possible is actually beating both TOA because those are free stuff. It's crazy. And do you use only one team for beating TOA, like this team I'm looking at right now? <laughs> um, Is it no, for hard, I hard was a bit of a struggle. There were a couple key floors that I got stuck on and I literally had to build specific monsters to pass them. Like your TOA hard 64 had the dark cats. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to build a better dog for that. And then 66 had jewel tan. Mm -hmm. And then the, I think the hardest one that really had me stumped was 91, which had the the Fire Lich and Terrace. Mm -hmm. and you know <laughs> how, how that works with RNG, and he goes and he can almost one hit anything because I'm super squishy. That's so true. That's for this true. Course, particularly, I ended up building the Wind Serpent. Mm -hmm. To tank? Five hundred. I had runes on him. I took them off. I literally built him just specifically for this purpose, and he tanked the entire thing because he takes half damage from him. Wow. At five star, it could tank a level 91. I mean, TOA 91 Antares? Yeah, I think he was defense HP HP. I just put as much tanky stat that that was his only purpose. Wow. Crazy. Okay, that's interesting. But you still managed to beat it. Was there a TOA hard level 90 Artamiel version that you were stuck at? Uh, uh, how do you handle Artamiel? <laughs> no, Artamiel on normal wasn't too hard. I beat uh -huh. that pretty easily. Lauren, again, she defense breaks, HP breaks. She does all sorts of great stuff. Uh, uh -huh. But on hard, 90 was the, the occult girls. Mm -hmm. so, Those were a bit hard as well, The, right? the blank one... The light one moves once and she kills everything. So it's just, you have to really keep those attack bars down. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But you still managed to beat TOA. And the moment you did it once, even if it get a bit harder, you know, the hard stages will go a bit up. I think you can still manage to beat it in the future, no problem at all. And every single month, you get two level on a bunch of crystals and scrolls and shit. It's gonna help you a lot in the game. Especially for free to play player like this account. <laughs> Which is exactly the thought process. It's like TOA is your main income. You have to do that as soon as you have a farmable team. And then 
work your TOA because that's where your crystals are coming from every every month. Exactly, it's payday. <laughs> every month is payday. You gotta <laughs> get it, okay, guys? Don't be lazy and wonder why you're not getting anything in the game and blame the game for being paid to win, even though resources are, you know, available everywhere, especially early game player, okay? Especially early game player. It's crazy. Is there anything that you shouldn't be doing as an early game player that you want to tell people? That you must not do. It's stupid. Uh, something not to do as an yeah. early game player? Yeah, not to do. Ooh. <laughs> um, well, a lot of people, they'll quickly rush into try to farm runes in B5 and B7. I really don't advise that. I feel like that's a big waste of time. Mm -hmm. I feel like just rush your six star, whatever your GB10 team is going to be, mm -hmm. rush that immediately. And I did it with three and four star runes. Like I didn't have monsters ruined right away. I just, I ruined my Lapis, made her able to farm and that's it. Like, just don't waste your time. I see. I see. Just farm EXP, get six star. It boosts the stats by quite a fair bit, right? Exactly. And as soon as you're farming the B10s, you're farming what the pros farm. Exactly. Like, it comes from the same place, right? Mm-hmm. Also, um, so is there anything else? Or oh, is that it? Is that the only thing you want them not to no. do? Yeah. I see. Okay. Another thing is, you are having 4 to a unit. I have 4 to a unit. <laughs> How are you farming these? And do you advise people to immediately try to get their hands on Raok, Inugamis, and the Warbear that you are using right now? Uh, so I'm doing floor four for the Inugami and for the, the bear floor. Mm -hmm. Is and it consistent? I love Vertigo. Yeah, it's fairly consistent. I'd say I have like a 95 to 90% success rate for the most part. Mm -hmm. Um. Verda Hill is great all around. I use Verda Hill in TOA. I use him in Dragons. I use him on 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 like everything. I just I love him. He was actually part of my first GB10 team when I got him. I see. Even though Definitely. he's a fire unit going into water, he's just very useful. Yeah, because at least in the trash wave, he's getting your team's turn, right? So you don't get stunned up by the side crystal and shit. Exactly. But would you recommend farming? at this level, like all these units, or you were just farming. I think, in my opinion, you should always try to do um, the hardest level possible because these energy, they're just going to refill anyway. It's going to be there. So it's your job to use them and utilize them. Even if I think you're doing B3, you should just use them because if you don't, it's just going to be there. And eventually you will get your 2A unit. and. I think the biggest thing about 2A unit is the stats boost. They will be net 5 equivalent, especially for a support unit like Bella. They become very, very tanky. And it's going to help you a lot in things like TOA for sure. Exactly. What's your favorite 2A unit that you did and that changed your game? I love the Dark War Bear. He's got a great kit. Mm -hmm. He attack breaks too, so he helps lower everyone's damage. He just does a lot of things, lowers attack bar. And he has a 70% stun. I have him on Despair also. So it helps, you know, that whole resistance. True, true. I think he's amazing. Like, he's the perfect unit for TOA, right? Attack break, stun, attack by reduction as well. And he's stun every turn. So yeah. there's no avoiding the stun coming out from this boy. And in the boss stage, you just have to get one provoke unit, which is a map that you have right here to take the boss. And yep. uh, the ads will be controlled by the bear, and you are good to go. Exactly. And a lot of people say, well, Mav isn't necessarily a achievable monster because you have to get it from a scroll. But if you look at all of my monsters summoned, I have m maybe four or five left that I haven't gotten. So the odds in two months of getting all your three-star monsters are really high. Yeah. And... Seriously, though, like, just... <laughs> What are you talking? Map is gonna be so easy to get, okay? Don't don't be an ass about it. Math is gonna be so easy. A lot of people just like to complain. <laughs> yeah, if you complain about not having a net three, it's I don't know, man. Like stop, just don't play the game. 
Um, so, so far you're having one net five, which I don't think you'll be using ever. <laughs> it's gonna take you like forever <laughs> to actually build up this segment because she's so yeah newbie unfriendly. I would say she does. Yeah, um, she did help me on TOA Normal 90, the Art of Mail floor. Mm -hmm. With AoE debuff? Uh, yeah, so she had the AoE defense break, glancing, and heal block. So that all helped keep, you know, the damage coming in lowered. She didn't let Art of Mail heal, especially with her skill 3. She kept resetting him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she was helpful, and I used her at 5-star, and she beat it for me. I see. One thing, do you farm reappraisal stone, or do you try to, or do you plan to? <laughs> Not yet. Um, you'll see my rifts. I, the only reason I've done rifts till now is the the daily reward, so you get those extra fifteen crystals. Yeah, they um, buffed out the daily but, missions. Crazy, right? Now they give whole. They just recently did it too. Now they're giving a whole bunch of great stuff. But uh, no, I'm not going to be farming reappraisals until I can get probably S on Rift. I just I, I feel lower than that. You don't really get those pure essence, mm -hmm. and you need a lot of them to really get those reappraisals. Yeah, like I am running out pure essence too. It's like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's gonna be a long way to go. But I think um, for now, I would say your runes look pretty okay. Some. Even rocking 20 sub speed is insane. That that luck is pretty insane. But still, um, I think with the correct choice of units and focus, you achieve what so many other people haven't achieved after playing for like months, even year. I've seen worse on like a thousand days old account. They just don't play the game and they complain that why am I not progressing? I think the biggest thing to take away is still you have to do research on what unit that can really help you and focus on those unit wholeheartedly you know you can't just be doing things half ass and expect great result right this is 69 day and he's doing dragons b10 sub two minutes people playing for like half a year are doing dragons b10 at like three minutes it's insane <laughs> this is crazy oh my god <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, it goes I'm pretty stunned. <laughs> like he he was progressing so much faster already, ten days ago. You're gonna hit a wall progression soon, and it's gonna take like a lot of grinding. Do you keep this? Uh, uh I'd sell that. Now, now the G3 brain is telling telling him trash, <laughs> but then the early game brain is like, oh, maybe I can use it on my rogue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So do you? No, it's just, it's gotten crit, crit damage. It just doesn't quite synergize. So 25k mana? Yeah. Okay. See that? You see? You see the standard right there? Oh my god. Just now we asked one thing you must not do, right? So is there one thing you must do? You know, any last word for the, for the plebs, the noobs? <laughs> um... Anything you must do? Uh, yeah, I'd say just <laughs> stop complaining. <laughs> just really like... That's life advice game, right there. Right? Hashtag like, life advice. Stop complaining. Shut up. Just try to be better. <laughs> <laughs> give, give this man a Lucian, please, Contus. Maybe you can save up some summon for me to do. I got the other guy a pong back, you know, randomly. <laughs> On live stream, it's crazy. One scroll. Can I have one scroll? Do I? Oh, I do! I, I don't... <laughs> if this is lightning, I'm gonna buy you a daily pack, okay? Give you a quick boost. You gotta be kidding me, man! Oh. Holy sh... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the heck? What the heck? Wow! I guess... All right, I'm gonna buy this man a daily pack. You know, he's free to play, but I'm gonna break that virginity right now. You are not free to play anymore. Look at this. Look at this pay to win $5 pack. I I despise you, pay to win trash. Okay? All right, guys, that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations for your progression. And he's gonna continue to play this more in the future, so we may get updates. 
and yeah. that's it for me awesome thanks sean no problem man i'll see you guys in the next video bye